guys, Nick here with NKT Resell. Today's chore day, gotta get some laundry done, but I thought while we're out doing laundry, take you along on a journey, there's a Goodwill uh, right next door. We can hit that place up while the laundry is getting clean. Um, it is the middle of the week. I'm a big uh, supporter of thrifting in the week, during the week, avoiding the weekends. Uh, save the weekends for stuff like swap meets and flea markets and things like that. Um, do your thrifting during the week because chances are stuff is getting dropped off and is not going to get picked through by such a saturated crowd of people. So uh, hopefully we can find some cool deals and cool stuff and, and hopefully uh, prove me correct in my assessment of thrifting during the week. While we're there, I thought we'd hit up the Goodwill that's right next to the area. Sorry about the loud truck going by. Check out the Goodwill and uh, see if they got anything uh, good for us. If you guys don't know, I live in an apartment where indoor laundry not indoor laundry centers are not available, and I have to go to a building one, and it's usually gross and disgusting. So uh, we're not doing that. So. Um, a couple of cool things. I think one of the coolest things I found was a pair of uh, corn uh, boots, uh, like a paratrooper boot. Um, regular price on those guys go for new at about. $55. I scored them for $28. Got them listed um, right now at $100. That's the best offer. So, hope you get those sold. Uh, most recent comp on that was like $119. That sold uh, earlier this month. So, uh, I'm pretty confident that those guys are going to sell. Also, got a vintage R2D2 cassette player from 1997. It was a Cassette player didn't even know that when I saw it. I was like, oh, this is probably one of those things that you store like action figures in or whatever. But no, uh, under further examination, it ended up being a cassette player. I think I scored that guy for like $5. Um, and they're selling right now anywhere from $25 to $45. So I got mine listed at $30, your best offer, plus shipping. Uh, hopefully, you can get something with that, of course. Aside from that, uh, nothing super exciting. Um, like I said, I'm pretty stoked for the boot. Hey guys, so at this point of the video, I decided to do audio separately, just so I'm not recording audio of the Goodwill I'm in right now. Sorry for the shaky camera as well, I'm still working on the stabilization. Anyways, first thing um, I came across was this like range extender for Wi-Fi. Um, the brand wasn't anything I was familiar with, so I'm pretty sure there's no money to be had there. Um, kept looking around over here sometimes there's money in the remote section um, I did find a cool GoPro accessory it was like a grip handle probably a floaty handle um, and a tool that had a bottle loper on, on it uh, called the handler um, just didn't see any value in that it was priced pretty high and uh, there's probably no comps in that for me um, also found this really cool um, it's like a stopwatch or something for your bike. Um, maybe not, it may just be a speedometer or something like that. Again, uh, comps on this weren't existent or non-existent rather. So I decided to pass on that. Um, I kept looking here. Um, sometimes you look out and you find like a tablet or something inside the tablet cases. Today was not the case. Um, looking over to my left here, um, I did see some Wiimotes and some nunchuck controllers. Typically, I would pick these up if they were priced right at $5.99. Definitely not it. I mean, their condition was pretty good. No corrosion in the battery compartments. And they were a little grody, but nothing a little cleaning wouldn't clear up. Um, that being said, I just didn't see any value in it. Uh, hanging on this peg you can't see is a whole like bag of Wiimote accessories and stuff. Again, just not priced where um, I can make any real money out of it. So... Um, I will end up uh, leaving this behind. And then to my left here are two connects. Um, I know better than to buy those. I sat on a connect forever and just ended up re-donating it. Um, definitely not something. As you can see, I'm still pondering on these Wiimotes, but again, I'm gonna come to the conclusion I'm just not gonna find any money in this. So I'm gonna leave those behind. Uh, a lot of third-party controllers there and whatnot. So went over to the TV wall. Sometimes the TV wall, they put like old radios and things like that. This really jazzed up karaoke speaker down there. Uh, I did find this like Panasonic, what looked like a vintage uh, portable radio. It was in the original box, obviously not still sealed, but had the original box and the instructions and stuff in there. 
Um, I did end up looking at the comps for this. Uh, there, again, seemed no listings for it, no previously sold or anything listed. So I decided to leave that behind. Um, if you guys think I made a huge mistake, let me know in the comments. Um, I just couldn't find any information about it that made me uh, want to pick it up. At this point, I noticed a, an Xbox 360 Slim on the top shelf. Didn't look like it had any cords or anything like that. I just had to brush up on my comps on it. Uh, I think what they were asking for was like $17, and that was just way out of the bracket of making any real money. So I ended up leaving that behind as well. At this point, I headed over to the next aisle where there's usually like, you know, uh, faucets and fixtures and things like that. Still new in the box. They get donated uh, from projects that people don't ever use. Um, I did notice um, while I was in this aisle that a guy came around from the back area and brought over uh, some new product to the aisle I was just in. So I made a point to uh, go and scoop back around because uh, chances are there may have been something good there and I'm really glad I did. Here I'm checking out a guitar case. Uh, no branding on it, nothing. Just a generic guitar case. Sometimes a Fender um, or Gibson guitar case could fetch some real good money. Um, in this case, that was uh, something I leave behind. Um, I want to say this is the moment where I noticed him putting a couple of laptops over in that aisle. So did a quick hook back around here uh, to see what I can see here. He just left the aisle. And sure enough, there is a little laptop here. This laptop is missing a key. It's an IBM ThinkPad, um, you know, no charger, no anything. Missing that key just didn't scream uh, a deal to me. Then on this top shelf that you guys can't see here, I did notice that he put a bunch of these, like, ThinkPads. Um, now, looking and reviewing the comps of these guys, I mean, these guys sell brand new in the thousands. Um, you know, upper hundreds to thousand dollar range. Um, the particular one I grabbed did not power up. Um, and it did have a stylus. It had everything in there and it, it, it was tagged. I want to say they were tagged at $17.99. Yeah, $17.99 as is. And, you know, for a second there, I'm just like, I'm not interested. I can't do that. That doesn't make any sense to me. And this is the point where I check out the... Uh, comps on it and realize that it's probably worth the risk so at this point i was like screw it i grabbed them i think there was a total of three of those guys and then one that was in silver um grabbed them all uh took them home to see if you know i could diagnose what the problem is so sure enough grabbed them all i know i should have probably left some behind for other people but um i'm not in the game for leaving money behind so I'm thinking there's a good chance that uh, some company or something had these for their employees and they opted to upgrade to a different system or a different platform and they just donated these guys uh, based on the one that did boot up uh, in store. It looked like it was just missing a hard drive. Um, so hopefully that's just the case for that. Uh, hard drives for me when I refurbish PCs, um, I just go ahead and I grab them from uh, my Amazon business account get a, a few SSDs, throw them in, uh, buy a couple of power supplies there as well, throw them in. And even with those added to there, I mean, I'm looking at a profit. Realistically, further comps comparison on these guys, uh, I could probably make 100% margin on it. So double my money, that is the numbers I like to have. And here you can see me rolling down the aisle with all my laptops in the cart. And I spot this uh, vintage M&M 10-piece light set uh, still in the packaging. Um, I later discovered there's a tear in the packaging, um, but they are still in there. Um, they are from the 90s. I want to say 98. Um, so definitely a vintage piece. Um, I did run some comps on this and realized they did re-release this later on. Um, so it's not a rare occurrence. Just the packaging was old. Um, but yeah, based on... The pricing here, I want to say it was like $7.99. I think they were selling for like 12 bucks. I do throw it in my cart for now, uh, but I eventually end up bringing that back and leaving it behind. And when it comes to camping supplies, it's kind of hit or miss. Um, there's definitely in the Pacific Northwest a market for it. Uh, Coleman, one of the more popular brands, but uh, that was just a plastic lantern, so I ended up putting that back. And throughout this trip, if you notice me grabbing stuff like coffee makers, I'm not trying to resell them. We just really need a coffee maker. We bought a 
kind of a cheap coffee maker uh, just based on price and it is the shittiest coffee maker of all time um, it's like water just disappears and I don't understand I'm a, I'll measure for 10 cups and we'll get six so anyways um, ignore that not trying to shop for resale literally just need a coffee maker I'm on a mission at this point, I run into this lovely lady who comments on this mirror that's uh, priced at $17, and she states that it's the same mirror you can get at Walmart for $10, um, and we kind of go back and forth jokingly uh, about who has dibs on that mirror. At this point, I'm roaming to this little corner because I notice that there's a bow, a compound bow on the wall over here. Um, Really sorry about this camera angle, guys. I'm really trying to figure out uh, where's the best place to wear this camera. So um, my next videos will be much better than this. Look at all those vacuums. Holy crap. Um, anyways, I noticed this bow, and I did check it, look for any markings or anything. It looked very generic, nothing on it. Probably a children's bow, some sort of practice bow. Um, anyways, uh, nothing special, so I did end up leaving that behind. Um, I think I had a price tag for like $7 or something, but... Yep, uh, don't see any money in it, so that stays. And yeah, guys, you guessed it, more coffee makers, just literally on a mission for my wife uh, so that we can have a damn cup of coffee in the morning uh, without our water mysteriously disappearing. But uh, there will be no coffee maker found this round. There's this like, whole wall of art here at this Goodwill, and I, I, I really freaking wish I knew more about art. Um, and could make risks like this. This just really screams like shit that you can buy at Walmart. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's all kind of the same to me, so I'm going to leave those behind as well. I am forever always looking for office supplies. Organization is my biggest obstacle as a business owner. Um, in the look here, though, I did see this little, um, I want to say it's a projector that projects stuff on the ceiling for, like, kids. Um, I thought it was really cool. Uh, I threw that in my basket. I'll end up testing that out later and discovering it doesn't work. So um, I will be putting that back. I do have a new newborn and he loves shining lights on the ceiling. So uh, I thought it was worth uh, at least for me to test it out. Uh, checking for any kind of Avery letterhead, stuff like that. I do use a lot of like stationery and paper and stuff like that in my business, packing slips and whatnot. So sometimes that stuff, that little accordion thing I could have used a week ago. The accordion filer, uh, but I ended up just buying a new one out of Walmart. Something I also wish I knew more about is, you know, glass and crystals and stuff like that. I mean, I know to look out for certain types of glass, like uranium glass and, you know, certain brands and things like that. And, uh, you know, milk glass of certain brands, um, old ashtrays and bells, things like that. But um, nothing here uh, really jumped out to me again. I'm probably just missing stuff left and right. Uh, let me know in the comments if you see some stuff there that I just missed out on. Um, i just not confident enough to purchase this, and let alone ship it. Um, shipping something of this fragile nature just stresses me out. So I would more likely avoid it and just stick to the hard goods or like the apparel that I usually look at. I do end up spending a little more time in these aisles, uh, just kind of checking out, you know, uh, little statues and, and things like that. Um, I think I run a comp on something here. I don't know what I picked up or looked at, but um, I run a comp on something and I can't find it. And I just gave up pretty quickly. So there's that. Um, oh, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, let me look up more information about these laptops now that I'm away from the electronics department. Um, I really wanted to know more or less like how much the power supplies would be, how much a, a battery would be, how much um, a hard drive would be, things like that. I had to make sure that the investment was well worth it. I didn't realize that even for parts, these guys were selling at, you know, $45 plus just for parts. So I'm already winning. If I can't fix any of these, I, you know, score by parting it out. So good find. Ah, yes. The origins of NKT Resale. Many people don't know, but how I started is I literally sold all my DVD and Blu-ray collection and thought that there was a market for DVDs and Blu-rays. I was sadly mistaken. and I've invested uh, hundreds in DVDs and Blu-rays and ended up having to sit on a few for a while and then it ended up liquidating a bunch. Uh, you can actually go on my eBay now and and liquidate, uh, and I'm sorry, and purchase, uh, I think they buy one, get one free right now, just so I can get rid of my inventory. Um, I just, I guess, had really good movies in my personal 
collection that sold really well. Uh, there's a lot of trash films out there. Um, also, I, I peek through the movies because they do shuffle into this Goodwill um, video games in with there. I do see this uh, copy of Borderlands uh, for PlayStation 3 complete in box. Um, it wasn't individually priced, so I think it's like $3.99. Uh, comps for this were like nine bucks, so after fees and everything, it just would not be worth it for me. I keep scanning and I see more titles and steel books and stuff like that. And again, I just I had such a bad taste in my mouth for DVDs and Blu-rays. Now I've kind of moved on to vintage video games and things of that nature. Now I'm entering into like the metal, like silver and dishes aisle and trays and stuff like that. I'm always on the lookout for like some silver or stuff like that. Certain aged pieces, uh, stand silver can fetch some pretty good money. Again, looking at the bells, um, in case there's something there that was just a little princess Disney bell. So, uh, that doesn't fetch much at all. So, uh, I did see this cool little gravy boat. Um, also I think it's just stainless steel. Um, it had a silver hue to it, but just, it didn't patina right. So, my assumption is it was just stainless steel, no uh, uh, silver mark or anything on it. I did end up seeing this uh, vinyl here of West Side Story, the soundtrack, and uh, kind of interesting, I'm not going to lie, but um, I, I just, again, don't know anything about vinyl or anything like that. I mean, I know certain things that are collectible, but um, it's not my forte. I'll leave that behind for somebody else to find. Um, at this point, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to probably uh, take back that m and uh, light. It's just, again, the comps weren't there. Uh, this is me avoiding uh, contact and aiming my camera at a stranger <laughs> by just looking at these wicker baskets. <laughs> um, anyways, I will, um, at this moment, probably just walk off and uh, take that m and thing back. I did come across these two uh, steel uh, metal signs, uh, which I thought were really awesome, and they definitely were at the right age, uh, but they were bent to crap. I mean, like rust started forming on them, and stuff like that. Like they were, they weren't in good condition. Um, I thought they were cool and eye popping, and there's probably a market for them somewhere. I just didn't think the condition and the price was uh, where I needed it to be, so I ended up leaving those behind as well. At this point, I just decide to go check out. My laundry is probably about done uh, in the dryer. So I will go check out and then uh, we'll recap when I get back home. Hey guys, so you can see uh, it wasn't a huge uh, day at the thrift store, but I did find those computers. Um, this is a day later. Um, I ended up running uh, or purchasing rather some SSD drives, getting some uh, power supplies, things of that nature. I took them apart and that's exactly what was wrong with them. Um, so I did have a clean copy of Windows 10 to install on those. So I did install them and um, like clockwork, we have working computers. Uh, one model here is an i5, 4 gig of RAM and 500 gigabyte HDD I had lying around, hard disk drive. Then I did end up getting um, a couple of 240 gig SSDs for these i7 with 8 gigs RAM. So two of them were i7s, one was an i5. Um, the other one had a hard drive in it and just needed a power supply. So I charged that one up, get that one reset and everything. And now, um, I am ready to make some money on these bad boys. I did end up keeping one. Um, I do need one for work, so works out well. And I think I'm going to gift one to my mother-in-law, but the other two fair game, um, I think overall I put in, it was like $18 a piece plus $11 or so for a power supply, $13 or so for PNY SSDs. Um, and I think we're at like, what, 40 bucks or something like that. Some for a hundred bucks, that's double my money. Um, they're definitely worth more than that, but I always like to undercut so I can get a quick sale out of it. All right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had a little bit of fun. I'll try to get the camera work a little better next time. I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, please. Uh, and leave a comment, comment if you found anything as outrageous as that in the, uh, thrift shop and, uh, whether or not you agree that going on a weekday is better than going on a weekend. All right, guys, 
Thank you so much, and I'll catch you all in the next video.